Madam Mayor, mem members of council, um, ladies and gentlemen, good good afternoon now, I guess. Well, well as we started in the here. morning. You, you, you've been here for the long, uh, yeah. we should have put you at the front end of it. Uh, well, but, I'm uh, going to make the presentation really short <laughs> so that we can all go for lunch. Thank you. Welcome to ha and welcome. It's good to have you here. Thank, Thank you very you. much. So this, one, um, this presentation is about Bathurst Street Road, road Reconstruction. Um, this presentation will have um, the presentation purpose, project purpose, and a short description of the project, the construction implementation, the um, project status and schedule communications program. So the presentation purpose really is just to provide council with an update of the project from of Bother Street uh, originally from Green Lane all the way to Holland Landing and to advise council of the construction facing for the implementation and to advise council as well of um, an upcoming contract, uh, which would be the first phase of construction, and also to invite council for an open house at the Holland Marsh District Christian School on June 19, 2013. Um, the, the project has gone through with um, uh, an EA already, and uh, as you see there on the board, um, Bathurst Street is a major north-south arterial for the region, and it's also a boundary road between East Gwillimbury and King uh, Township. Uh, Bathurst Street on this section is currently closed to traffic since the early 1990s, and because of its poor um, geometry and road condition, as well as there's an old bridge just north of Morningside Road that has been closed to traffic for a long time. Um, the municipal um, class environmental assessment for Bathurst Street has been done uh, 2005 onwards and it has confirmed the need for um, improvements as well as identified the reopening of Bathurst Street in this section in North um, York. The EA was approved in 2010 and with conditions from the Ministry of Environment and these conditions had been uh, addressed during the detailed design. So we went through about um, what improvements are required in this section of Bather Street and we have separated them into distinct sections um, basically for road improvements as well as an intersection and then Holland, um, Holland Landing Road, um, Highway 11 and Graham Side Road area in there. So the proposed improvements were basically to correct the um, horizontal and vertical alignment for this road, upgrade Bathurst Street to regional road standards, as well as to improve the intersection of the geometry on Holland Landing, um, Highway 11, and Graham Side Road um, intersections. And also to replace the watercourse um, crossing culverts to larger structures to allow for um, wildlife crossing. Um, during our detailed design um, process, uh, we had gone through an archaeological assessments, and we have found that there are, there is a, an Aboriginal um, village site on just north of Morningside Road, and we needed to do a stage four um, archaeological investigation in this phase. However, um, we, as a, our detailed design had moved forward in this section, that um, we are advancing. Because of the delay on the south end, but we are able to move forward with the project on the north end of the of Bather Street. We are tendering this contract um, this year. Right now, it's on a tender phase. So the first phase of the contract would include the north section as well as the intersection improvement on Holland Landing Highway 11 um, area, and the remaining improvements, which is on the south end of the project would be constructed in a future contract pending to the results of this archaeological investigation. So the North contract is in the tender phase right now and we're hoping to get it closed in a week or two or next week. And also we're hoping to complete this project, uh, this contract in the summer of 2014, which is next year. Traffic management would of course be, strategies would be um, in place to minimize public inconvenience. 
right now in the future contract, we have um, the stage for um, investigation that's going to happen um, anytime soon when the weather cooperates. And we are anticipating that this archaeological field work would be completed in the summer of 2013 and the, the reports completed at the end of the year. We would have ongoing consultation with uh, the Ministry uh, MTCS, which is the Ministry of Tourism, um, Culture and Sports, and also with the First Nations. Utility relocations and tree removals would be done after the um, clearance for the archaeological site. And also, once this um, construction would be finished, that would complete this link to connect all the way down to south of, um, on the southern part of York Region. Um, as in any other York Region um, program, uh, construction project, we have in place construction communication program. Specific to this um, project, we're going to have a public consultation on June 19th at the Holland, Land Holland Mars District Christian School from 6 to 8 p.m. And uh, your consultant and um, your staff would be on hand to have this um, open house um, for the public. And also we're going to be hand delivering notices to local residents and adjacent to the project before construction start up to tell them who the contractor is and, and contact persons during construction. We'd also be doing a, um, electronic vertical <coughs> sign messages on Highway 11 when we would be doing construction on that section as well as the phone numbers of um, York Region staff would be on hand to, on the re and also it would be on the Region's website. And again, that's, that's all the presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I was going to talk a little bit about communication, but you've heard the discussion about yes. the communication. So, you know, the higher level that can be achieved, um, the more information that our community, and, and not just us, but, but those that are commuters uh, in our area, uh, they'll have more information for sure. Uh, questions? Start with uh, Councillor Roy DiClemente. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Through you to, uh, to Ms. Martin. Um, it's, a, it's a nice joke that most of the residents in East Goulombury and King Township like to say is, well, I live in a neighborhood where young meets Bathurst, and everyone gives them these strange looks because it actually does happen. Yes. Uh, I wonder if you might be able to share a few more details as far as the intersection improvements are concerned. That's a, that intersection is one of the most... Uh, uh, accident prone uh, in in our community and I wonder if you could uh, share some some information with us as to how that's being improved um, w the intersection there between Holland Landing and Highway 11 and Bathurst Street they're so close together and also you know same as with the Graham side road so we're mo shifting the this is based on our um, analysis on the EA uh, which has been uh, worked on uh, a while back, and uh, what we're doing is shifting the Bathurst Street southerly to create that distance between separation between Holland Landing and and Highway 11, and then with the um, uh, what do you call this tightening of the intersection in terms of you know the um, the right turn lanes and stuff like that. So that that is the mitigation that we have um, or the solution that we have. Uh, formulated during the EA design, and that's what we're going to be constructing in this contract. Further, Madam Mayor, um, so that sort of information will be shared with the community at the, the, the open house. I think people would really like to see the before and after photo of uh, or, or drawings of that intersection. In we would be having drawings showing what our design is going to be looking like, as well as what the old. Um, what where the old intersection is. Yes. Councillor Morton. Just a comment, Madam Mayor, that um, it's nice to see that after so many years that um, this is going to be opened up and um, which will be another uh, option to take yet more traffic off of some of our roads and take them straight down and out to 400 from a different route rather than across some of our mm -hmm. Thank inner you. town roads. 
just another one that's 2014, 2015. Uh, we're converging on all of them. It's going to be a big couple of years for sure with road with road work. Um, the the piece that you're going to do first, the northern piece, yes, will will o only be um, uh, available to the residents on that piece of of road. Is that correct? Um, yes, Madam Mayor. It is only going to be to the south of the old bridge because that's all we could construct in there before we start in. We don't want to preclude about whatever solution we would have um, with pending to the results of the archaeological investigation. Yes. All right, so that's, that's where we thought b the best break would be. And then once that we have that archaeological clearance, then we would um, be continuing with the work. Councilor Reed. Just so I understand, is that going to take care of the situation with Toll Road, as with the Bathurst Young Street Toll Road, that whole that whole area? Is that going to be incorporated into the design of, of the intersection there? Um, so, <coughs> Madam Mayor, I'm not sure what the Toll Road. Uh, it's the, actually so Holland Landing Road. Oh, okay, so I call it the Holland Landing yeah. Road. So that, oh, that whole okay, intersection right. would be corrected. Uh, yes, uh, that's on Holland Landing Road, yes. and then Highway 11, yeah. and then it, Bathurst Street curve around there, right? That's the one that we're going to be reconstructing this year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's kind of exciting that we have a, an archaeological dig and, and that there is uh, uh, some evidence of folks that uh, First Nations that uh, uh, lived in our, in our community and uh, long before we did. So it's, it's kind of exciting and it'll be interesting to follow along. Is there an opportunity for us to get an update uh, on that dig and the kinds of things that uh, uh, obviously the road work is going to be part of it, but I think there's, there's a, uh, a human interest side of the, of the results of the dig as well to let the community know what, what in fact we have here. Um, yes, um, Madam Mayor, we, we were looking at consultations that are happening in there. And um, I'm hearing from the town of Newmarket Historical Society that they are very interested as to how this investigation is going to pan out. And I said that once things are moving along that maybe we could, you know, see what's going on and, and get them over there because we, we don't have an archaeological dig as far as I know in this northern part of uh, York region. Six. It's very exciting. We also have a, a historical society as well in mm -hmm. East Gwillimbury, so uh, All right. it would be a, a good idea to be in touch with them as well. All right. Okay. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Could I have a motion to accept Ms. Martin's uh, presentation? Moved by Councillor Eaton.